Hello and welcome to the video Connect to MySQL Database in Apache NetBeans IDE with me Nam Ha Bing from CodeJava.net Through this video I will guide you how to connect to MySQL Database Server in Apache NetBeans IDE using the database services tool available in NetBeans IDE so you can manage uh, MySQL databases uh, without the need of using an external program like MySQL Workbench or MySQL Command Line Client in details, I will share with you how to download MySQL JDBC driver, how to make a connection to a MySQL database, how to create a table, how to update data in a table, and how to execute some SQL statements. And I suppose that you are using the following software programs Java Development Kit, JDK, Apache NetBeans IDE, and MySQL Community Server. Firstly, we need to download MySQL. JDBC driver. So, using a web browser and head over to this uh, URL https double forward slash c dev dot mysql dot com slash download slash character j here because mysql JDBC driver is named as a character j. And here we are going to download the MySQL Connector J version uh, 8.0.22 here and select uh, platform independent here to download a zip archive file here and click the download button here and click no thanks just start my download and it is downloading my SQL connector J, my SQL ZVC driver. Okay, download completes and uh, click show in the folder. Here we have a zip uh, file for my SQL ZVC driver and uh, extract this zip file. Extract here. And you can see a Java file uh, named as uh, MySQL Connector Java version 8.2, 8.0.22 here. Uh, it's better to uh, copy this uh, directory to a separate directory on uh, my computer. Create a new folder, MySQL ZDBC. Paste here. Okay. So that's uh, for the downloading of my SQL ZBC driver. And this is Apache NetBeans ID. As you can see, uh, I'm using Apache NetBeans ID version 12.1 here. And uh, go to the menu window uh, services here. Uh, Press the shortcut key, Control plus 5, and you can see the services view here. And you can see the first section is for databases here. And you can see the default uh, connection for my SQL server here. But let me show you how to create a new connection. So right click here, New Connection. And by default, it selects the driver for my SQL connector J. And click the Add button to specify the MySQL ZBC driver Java file, which uh, I have extracted previously. Uh, MySQL ZDBC driver here, and choose the Java file here, and click Next. And specify the host name, uh, port number, uh, database name. Because I'm going to create a new connection to a local instance of my SQL database. So I use the default host name and default port number. And I want to connect to this uh, database name, sales uh, DB. And providing username and password. And click remember password. And you can click the test connection button here. And you can see 
it says that collection succeeded here and you can see the generated uh, JDBC URL here uh, leave it as a default and click uh, next next and enter the name for this uh, connection profile mm. sales db on mysql and click finish and you can see the new connection uh, appears here sales db on mysql here click the plus icon here and you can see the uh, default uh, database schema sales db appears here and you can see the tables in this uh, database custom uh, columns in uh, each table here so this allows the programmers to work and manage uh, MySQL database right inside the IDE conveniently uh, so we don't have to use uh, any external program like MySQL Workbench or uh, MySQL command line client and you can see NetBeans also uh, displays as a database in the same server here. You can see various uh, databases in the same uh, MySQL database server. And if you want to connect uh, to one uh, database, you can right click, share as uh, default catalog here. And you can see the default database catalog now changed to contact db here now let me show you how to create a new table right click uh, on the tables node here and create table and enter the table name users and add column and the first column is id type is integer here yeah. primary key okay and the second column is uh, name data type is vacha uh, size is uh, 45 characters not known okay in the third column is uh, email uh, Data type is vacha, size is 45, not null. Okay, so you can add, you can add uh, as many columns as uh, you want here, and click OK. And you can see the new table users got created here. You can see there are three columns: ID, name, and email. So it's very easy to create a new table in uh, uh, NetBeans IDE now let me insert some data into this new table users so you can right click uh, view uh, data and this is the uh, user interface uh, that allows us to update uh, data in a table here you click the insert uh, record button here and here you enter the values uh, for the columns name is nam admin email nam at code java .net. and the second row sorry this is uh, uh, for only one uh, record and click ok Sorry, uh, previously I created this table with the ID uh, uh, column, not no, so I must uh, specify a value for the ID column and click uh, OK. And you can see one uh, uh, row got inserted into this table. And you can also add another row here. ID2 name is Ravi Kumar. Email is gmail.com and uh, click OK. 
and you can see the second row got inserted here close this uh, tab and uh, right click on the table and view data again and you can see uh, the data uh, is actually uh, persisted into the database you can see two rows here and let me update uh, so you select a new row select a, an existing row here And you can edit directly here. Mm, I change the name to Ravi Kumar mm, Krishna. Yeah, email Ravi Kumar 2020. And uh, when done, uh, click this uh, button to commit the changes. You see. And you can see in the output view, you can see the result of the SQL statement execution here. And close this and select uh, view data again. And you can see the data uh, was actually updated here. Ravi Kumar Krishna here. And you can see the SQL editor here allows you to uh, write, edit, and execute SQL statements here. Uh, you know, for example, I want to uh, select all rows uh, from the contact table instead of the user's table. Because in this database, I have the table contact here. And select the SQL statement. And you can see uh, several buttons in the toolbar here that uh, allows us to execute uh, to run statement here to see the SQL statement execution history here. Uh, you can right click and uh, run selection to execute the uh, SQL statement in the selected text. And you can see the result uh, select uh, asterisk from contact here. Also, there are two contacts in this table here, as you can see. So, as you can see, it's a very easy and convenient to uh, work with databases uh, right inside NetBeans ID, connect to a database, create a new table, update the data in the table execute a SQL statement and uh, when you are done you can disconnect from the uh, database here right click and disconnect so far I have shared with you how to work with my SQL databases uh, right inside the Apache NetBeans ID using the built-in uh, database uh, services tool I hope you will find this video helpful Please uh, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.